Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the um, um, do return, do throw, do answer, do nothing, do call on real method family of methods. So this is typically methods that you, you utilize to stub uh, void methods or sometimes when using spies. We have not covered spies yet, but uh, in the, on the uh, next lesson, we're going to cover spies. So let's start with, the, with the, an example of do throw. Uh, so let's create our test method here. Test uh, do throw. Okay. And um, basically, um, do throw is um, what you know you would use it when you're trying to stub an exception on a void method. So again, recall that our DAO here, you know, has methods that return some type. I've created a full method here that, you know, um, basically it's a void method to illustrate the problem. But first, let me show you how you would typically stub an exception on a regular or a non-void method. So obviously, you would call DAO, for example, fetch book by ID with any int, and then you'd say, then throw, say, a runtime exception, right? So this is how you would stub it. Um, however, if you try to do the same thing on a foo, uh, sorry, on a, um, on a void method, okay, um, then throw a runtime exception class, then obviously it does, oops, I need to put the method call here. And obviously it doesn't compile because you know the when it's actually expecting a, you know a type and there is no type here because foo is a void method so this is where the uh, do throw um, family of methods comes in handy so basically you just reverse the, the order you say do throw a runtime exception uh, when the uh, dao foo method is invoked okay so that's basically how you would do it. And you can just pass the class or you can actually in invoke an instance of the exception. Uh, it's, this is perfectly equivalent on the do throw. Then obviously, you know, we can just write a simple assertions. Um, so a third throw is a runtime exception. Um, and, you know, obviously we're going to here uh, do our call so service fetch book by ID 3042 for example and let's complete this statement get the exception back and assert that the exception that we get um, is actually uh, what we are expecting so core matchers is is uh, core matchers equal to uh, a runtime exception okay uh, close this thing and obviously let's you as usual let's convert this to a uh, you know do static imports to make this thing readable okay now if I were to run this test then it should pass okay as you see it passes so again it passes because um, you know the class of the exception matches and um, the exception is thrown because fetch book by ID, you know, we just kind of hack this method to call foo and foo is throwing an exception, which we are stubbing here on a void method, okay? So let's move on and cover the do return, okay? So test method, test uh, do return. So um, I know we have not introduced the concept of spy. Spy is going to be introduced in the next lesson, but basically a spy is nothing but a, um, you know, a, a mock, a partial mock, if you will. Okay. So um, we have a real object, which is the service uh, object. This is a real object, the class under test. It's not a mock. So you would utilize spy as opposed to mock when you are interested in partially mocking this object. That is, uh, you want to have uh, actual calls on the object and some calls you want to have them stub. So this is when you would use the spy. Um, again, this is going to be covered in the next lesson, but I'm just want to um, use it here to illustrate, uh, you know, an, the, the one use case for the do return. So if I were to call, um, 
you know a um, method on my spy fetch book by ID with 42 okay um, so I'm trying to stub it right then I say you know then um, return uh, library service the default book for instance right so let's say I'm trying to stop the method and uh, I want to do this okay so the problem of doing this okay let me tell you what the problem is so notice that you got a null pointer exception here okay and the reason is because uh, remember spice is spying on a real object and um, even though I'm trying to stop this method but because this is not a mock this is a real object this is actually calling fetch book by ID on the actual object when I do this stubbing and because fetch book by ID utilizes a DAO actual call on the DAO and the DAO is you know um, has not been stubbed then there is a null pointer exception here right so uh, obviously you know I could just stop this call but I want to show you how you would fix this problem uh, using the do return do return the library service default book right when the uh, spy call on fetch book by ID with 42 okay so we are turning around things and saying I'm not now calling fetch book by ID I'm just saying return the default book okay when the fetch book by ID on the spy is called so if I now run this then notice that it passes okay let's call the do answer uh, so let's cover the do answer so test do answer uh, method so the do answer method um, is um, expands on the uh, you know then return and it's a most more powerful way to actually create a uh, you know uh, a return you know typically what you do on your DAO for example you would say um, you know when say fetch book with ID with 42 you know then uh, return uh, default book for instance okay so that's you are specifying statically at compile time what will the return of uh, fetch book by ID uh, you know be will be and obviously you can make this thing uh, generic and just say any int okay so this is static at compile time every call on fetch book by ID will always return default book right uh, do answer is more flexible in that um, you know you basically like I said delay the the or creation of the answer to runtime and you can take advantage of the uh, invocation arguments so I've got the invocation object here and the invocation is basically the call right to 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 our DAO so the call will be fetch book by ID and um, you know just to for illustration purposes let's um, so like I said the invocation object contains the meta the arguments and so on and even the mock so uh, for this case let's get the argument which we know there is only one which because this meta takes only one argument which is an int so let's grab the um, um, argument and let me put the class here so that I have a more you know uh, uh, this thing more statically typed so this is basically the ID of the book okay and what I want to do is I want to make you know just to play with this for you to get the idea I want to decide you know if the ID is 42 then you know return the default book otherwise just return null okay and I want this to happen when the um, call on my uh, DAO um, you know fetch book by ID is invoked with any int okay so that's basically what I want to do and then obviously I'm going to make the actual call uh, let's say with 42 to start with and then I want to assert that the um, you know let's get the book here so I want to assert that the book is uh, equal to uh, the default book to start with okay so let's comment this thing because this was just for an example okay and let's run this and see what we get so there is something is not right let's see what it is uh, and finish stubbing detected here and this is because of uh, you know something a gotcha that you need to see here um, so when you do do answer uh, 
you need to make the call on the DAO outside of the uh, mock of the when expression, okay, or the when method call. So this is basically how we would fix this. So let's run this method and see what we get. So notice that it passes, okay. So we covered the do throw, do return, and do answer. So now let's cover the do nothing family uh, method, which is part of this do you know uh, throw uh, and so on family of methods. So do nothing. So do nothing is uh, useful for avoid methods again, and uh, it basically you know when you want to basically have you know a series or sequences of um, of verification. So first do nothing and then you know um, uh, we can say do throw a runtime exception and we're going to say this when uh, the DAO uh, foo uh, method is called okay oops let me just format this thing correctly and obviously you know um, I already have the code for the exception I hope you don't mind me just uh, reusing it here I don't want to, you know, it's too much typing otherwise. And the first time I call the DAO full method, nothing is going to happen. The second time I call the method on the uh, the full method. Okay, let's just make this thing like this properly. Okay, let's do this. So what am I doing here? What I'm saying is when the full method is invoked on the DAO, right, the first time, do nothing, which is this case here. The second time that you call this method, throw an exception. Okay, so let's um, and the exception is a runtime exception. Let's run this and see what we get. So notice that the test passes. Okay. Okay. So moving on, we've covered the. Um, let's take a look here. We covered the do return, the do throw, do answer, do nothing. The only one that uh, it's missing is do call real method. So let's create an example to show you when these may come in handy. So as usual, let's create a test method, test do call real method. And recall that um, on fetch book by ID on the generic service, um, it actually calls on the DAO fetch book by ID. And uh, we, because the, the, the DAO is mocked, we've been always, ha we had to always st um, consistently, we had to stub uh, the method, um, you know, as such. So when a DAO fetch book by ID with any int, you know, then return the default book. So we've been writing a lot of this code every time we had to, you know, do service fetch book by ID, say 42, okay? Because again, um, the uh, DAO has been injected onto the service object and then, you know, um, and then this call, because it's a mock, needs to be uh, stubbed. So if you don't want to do that, you can call, you can basically use the call real method. So what you can do instead is uh, do call real method uh, when the DAO um, fetch book by ID, okay, with any uh, int uh, is invoked, okay? So now if I were to call this method, let's see what's going to happen. So notice that the test passed, okay? And the test passed because, um, you know, even though I am passing a um, mock uh, DAO onto the service object, I'm actually partially mocking it only. I'm saying use a mock for all the other methods but the fetch book by ID. And recall that this uh, class actually has three other methods, okay? So those would be mocked. Uh, this would have to be stubbed, I should say. But this one is a real method. So just to illustrate this, let me um, hack a little bit this implementation here and do fetch book by title. Any full book, let's introduce a variable here. Let's call it book. Um, you know, the book object here, and this guy is going to be one. And just to illustrate to you what's going to happen here. So let's run this and uh, see what we get. So notice that we got a NPE, a null pointer exception, because, uh, you know, uh, this object is mocked, fetch book by title is been mocked. So again, to fix this, I would have to do, you know, uh, when the, um, you know, DAO fetch book title with any string, you know, then return, uh, sorry, then return the default book. So that will be a way to fix this. 
Um, and um, but anyway, that's a little bit beyond the scope here. I just want to show you that even though we're passing in a, a mock, I you can we do call real method actually you know um, uh, invoke a real method which is similar to the concept of spies, which we're going to cover in the next lesson. This is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com. Thanks for watching.